Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a Dragon Ball Legends update video for version 1.10.0. So we finally got this up. It's from uh, July 18th. So if you haven't gone ahead and downloaded it, go ahead into the Play Store or the App Store. Go ahead and download it. This version brought a couple updates. Uh, looks like uh, some surrounding display issues, various bugs, uh, in-game news for more information, which we will be going over. Uh, we have the new Legends Rising banner that's available, and with that, we got the new units. We have the new Sparking Turles. He is a purple unit. Um, the, the new Sparking Cooler, or Korra, he is a green unit. Sparking Goku, which is a purple unit, which is about time we got another uh, purple unit in there other than Vegeta. That's actually good. Um, we have a new Extreme Turles who is green and extreme vegeta who is red um i don't know if we got any more hero units i'm gonna have to go and do some review on that uh so i'm do more research on that i do plan on start doing more in-depth reviews for team building guides for you guys now that we actually have some decent units coming out we can start talking about that especially when newer units come out who what teams they would run best with um so i'll, I'll start doing that unfortunately there's nothing like dokkan battle builder as of yet so I can't really do it that easily. So it's going to actually require me to do a little bit of work. But I do plan on doing that a little bit. Uh, especially because the, the banners when they drop, only a couple units come out at a time. It's, it's a little bit more simple to do that as of right now. Um, anyway, <clears throat> new story mode part 1, book 6. You can go ahead uh, and do that for the story. Uh, Scout Battle versus Frieza is available. And Raditz Attack, the Raditz event that was there. If you guys didn't complete the missions before, you can go and do them now for on easy mode or on normal mode. Uh, they also came back with a hard mode. So that means you can go in there, you could do hard mode, you can get more orbs or uh, sorry, more crystals, um, and you can go in and you can get uh, whatever events uh, it's giving you. I usually go in for the Rising Souls and stuff like that. I need a lot more Rising Soul 2s and 3s because I haven't gotten any of my characters maxed out on the third tier of that, of that set yet. And um, I'm really hoping soon that we can get Ascended past level 1000. Um, in terms of items, we also have the Goku and Raditz equipment, which we're going to talk about that as well. I just saw that. And Rage Gohan equipment. Um, I guess we're going to have to go and look to see if we can find that on, on Legends. Uh, on the Legends website. Um, this is going to be the Legends banner. It looks like this is what we have over here. The Vegeta's going to be on it. Uh, Captain Ginyu's on it. And then you have these three. So, if obviously, the three new units. If you guys don't have these at all uh the vegeta is really good so he's definitely a really really good unit i haven't gone too in depth on the turles Korra, or goku yet just because i haven't really went deep into the, any of their stats or anything like that uh, i do want to save that for another video so that way i can have a little bit more time because the last time i did that this turned into like a 15 20 minute video so i don't want to go too hard um just off the bat from what i'm looking at i don't think there's anything new over here if there's anything new that you guys see from the heroes list let me know i will be doing some research just to see if there is anything new that maybe i have missed but it all looks pretty much the same i do see the turles over here so that's the turles and i think that's the vegeta that we're talking about so um, but we will go over that but that is now available if you want to do summons personally i will not be doing any summons on this uh and the next banner that's coming around i will also not be doing summons on that i'm going to be saving for the super saiyan 2 gohan from the cell saga myself um, this is, looks like this is going to be the item for the Goku and Raditz. I don't know. I think that looks like it's going to be silver. Um, this is the Turles over here. Just really quick, just to look at it. It looks like he's going to be favored a little bit more towards um, a uh, blast attack. It looks like just by hair, it's a little bit more than blast attack. And just from looking, yeah, it looks like blast damage inflicted against the Sun family or Goku's. Um, minus 15 to blast arts card. So yeah, this guy's definitely going to be a blast damage character. So keep that in mind. And Z ability is... Um, purple base strike attack and defense during battle it's not going to come in too handy for vegeta because if you want to run them two on the same team i mean you can run them two on the same team for a mono intelligence team or mono uh, purple team if you wanted to but remember vegeta and turles are both going to be um blast characters so his z ability or uh his uh yeah his, his uh, sp specific z ability is not going to actually benefit him it's kind of weird that they gave him a z ability for strike attack instead of doing blast damage but i guess whatever um but yeah again we'll go over that in the future uh cora it looks like at level 1000 this guy is going to be fit focused a lot on blast attack again he's a technique so he has 24,000 for blast attack uh let's see over here level head recovers 50 key and increases card draw speed by one level for 15 timer counts okay that's his main ability that's pretty good uh 50 to own special arts power from battle for start of 20 timer counts okay um that's pretty cool actually i, I do like that 50 percent more damage to the uh, actual specials um death beam for is going to be a special uh nothing crazy and we receive 15 more blast damage for 15 timer counts inflicts bleed 
uh, for his destructive rate. Bleed on one of the enemy's cards at random. 20% uh, chance to inflict faint. And is the ability Sagas from the movies base blast attack during the battle. It looks like these are going to be the movie category, guys. So that's that's pretty cool. I, I do like that you could at least run a full team if you have all the characters. Um, it looks like he's going to be doing good for Broly, I guess, because Broly is still going to be one of the main units. Again, I, I don't know how the new the, the Korra or the Goku are going to fit in or the Turtles are going to fit into PvP. Um, we do have a whole bunch of them, but now that we actually have a, a special a Z ability that, spe that specifies the movie villains, uh, we might actually get something a little bit better. Again, Korra is going to focus a little bit more on Blast, but he has no real buffs to Blast. He's more for his special. Um, Goku is in here. Goku's attack looks like he's going to be favored towards blast attack as well. That's interesting. Everyone's getting blast attack stuff. Restore his own health. His main ability. Restore own health by 20% and draw special move arts card next. Okay, cool. Uh, unique ability. Strike attack up. 30% strike damage. So it looks like he's going to be getting a strike buff of 30%, which is going to make him really do really good. So you're going to want to focus on strikes when his ability with his ability. Um, One-handed spirit bomb. Major explode damage. I need to look into this explode damage type of damage here. 10% critical rate for 20 timer counts. I guess that's cool. I need to look into that as well because the critical rates, we, I don't know how much more of a multiplier that is. And lend me your energy, his extra. Uh, enhances special move arts card used up to three. Card one, 30% to receive. Card two, 70%. Wow. Card three, 120% to the special move. 70% chance to inflict faint. Wow, that's really cool. That's actually really awesome. So every time he gets a special arts card, he does more damage. That's crazy. Um, this is pretty cool. He, I mean, not awesome, not phenomenal, uh, but he does do uh, blast defense, uh, strike and blast defense buff. So that will actually help out your mono, your mono um, purple units if you're running a mono purple team. Um, in terms of the Turles over here, it looks like he is going to be focused. Yeah, wow. Wow, he's focusing straight on blast. Look at that freaking low strike attack. I wonder if that's right. 12,000 for his strike attacks? That's horrible. Um, looks like... 45% strike damage inflicted for 45 timer counts. That's horrible still. Because that's only, what, 6, 18,000. That's horrible, man. Unique ability. 15% um, blast damage inflicted against Super Warrior. I guess that's cooler. You don't really run up against too many Super Warriors right now. That's definitely not going to be meta. Uh, Kill Driver deals major impact. 10% to own strike arts power for 15, plus 10% to own... Wow. Um... I don't understand. Oh, plus 10% extra damage, I guess. So he's increasing his arts card, uh, his strike cards. Ugh, I mean, he's, his strikes suck, though. Uh, future of the Tree of Might. Fruit of the Tree of Might. For one of the following effects will occur at random. Restores own health by 20%. 20% to blast damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. 20% to strike damage. Wow, okay. So you have one of the three, one in three chance. And his Z ability is green base strike blast in defense, which is going to be really good for Piccolo. So this guy is really going to be a green link. I don't see him being that viable, even though his blast attack is a little bit higher than, a lot higher than his strike attacks. You're going to only want to focus on blast attacks with him, at least from what I'm seeing. Um, and honestly, um, his blast attack still isn't even that great compared to other units. So I don't understand. I, I, we really don't have that many good, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll have to look further into that. Anyway, this is the new Extreme Vegeta. I'm not going to go too in depth on this. It looks like, look at this. His strike is going to be 20, almost 25,000. So he's going to be a striker, more of a strike oriented character. Uh, enemy receive, cost enemy to receive 30% more strike damage. Okay, that's ridiculous. Uh, strike attack up 15%. Yeah, he is definitely going to be a strike attack character. Um, 17% red base strike attack and defense during battle. So he's going to be really good for Goku. Um, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan Trunks. This mono strength team or mono power, uh, power. Uh, red team is going to be very, very good. Sorry for using um, terminology from other games. Um, and actually, I think that was it. This is the extreme turtles, right? Yeah, so we, are, we talked about this turtles. But yeah, still, for even for this, this this is a horrible, horrible strike attack. Oh, man. But anyway, um, in terms of that, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the, we really don't need to talk about the freezes too much, I guess. Let's just talk about his ability, because that's all I guess he's going to really be used for. Uh, main ability, uh, able enemy to receive 30 more blast damage. I guess that's cool if you, if you have him on, on the main team. Restore own health by 10% and cure conditions. 15% uh, element to green uh, max base health during battle. I guess it's going to be good for Piccolo, definitely. Um, you want Piccolo to have more more uh, health because he's definitely going to be your tank. Uh, and then I think, what else? We have the Raditz missions that are going to be available here. There is no character for sale um, on the, the summer sale, so there th you can't buy anyone. So no, you can't actually go and purchase I, I looked, I was going to go buy, buy another character for 24 bucks. 
I thought it would be okay, but nope, we don't have that. Raditz attack. Um, this is the Raditz over here. Looks like Z ability, same base, max health. I guess that's mad. It's okay. Let's go over here. This is the Goku card. It looks like this is the new gold. These are the two. Leave my dad alone. Base strike attack. Um, okay. Slot two, base blast attack. That's decent. And key restore speed up to 5%. Okay, cool. So at least now we know um, this is going to be pretty decent. I don't know who, who it's going to... Uh, B4 it might be for hybrid Saiyans only. It doesn't really say here. I wish we could actually know what it's going to be specified for. Uh, and then for the new Raditz and Goku item, special move damage up to 5%, base blast attack up to 10%, and damage to Piccolo up to 15%. Interesting. Each slot is guaranteed to have one ability assigned to it. To unlock slot 2 beyond, you must upgrade your equipment. Makes more uh, That doesn't make sense. The Legends Rising only talks about the new extreme units. I don't think we have anything for hero units that are there. Um, and yeah, addendum confirmed in-game issues. It looks like, well, they're, they're investigating all the cheaters in PvP. I know that there have been a lot of cheaters, especially when it comes to disconnects and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if maybe it was just, you know, the luck that I was running into. I was playing a lot of PvP yesterday to get all my PvP missions done before, like, I actually did stuff with my time off from work. But uh, I had a lot of people who would like, who would be slightly disconnecting and then like, they would come over, they would do some melee, I would get flown, uh, thrown back, and then they would just like, they would start to like disconnect a little bit, then they just rush me, and they do more melee. They literally killed like, like one character every, every game, where I wasn't even able to do anything with them, because I couldn't get a stupid exclamation point, and they were just doing stupid melee damage, and I kept on disconnecting, or getting disconnected, and rushing me, so I couldn't react to it. I don't know if you guys have the same problems. It's very, very frustrating, but hopefully that gets taken care of. Um, but, well, I did click on this before. I didn't want to click on it right away, but this is the V-Jump leak for Legends. It looks like we're going to be getting Android 17 and Android 18, so that's going to be cool. I don't know what the heck any of this means, but like the chart, actually. But that's cool. I'm not, Again, I'm not going to be summoning on this banner. This is what I was telling you about. I will probably not summon until the Cell stuff comes out. And when the cell stuff comes out, uh, I think that these guys, well, maybe one of these guys is going to be on that banner. Who knows? It looks like uh, Ginyu is also on here, maybe, because I see Ginyu over here. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But those should be coming out in the next banner, which will probably be next month. Um, outside of that, players who lose a rating match due to disconnection will lose more rating points than normal. So if you disconnect, if you guys are going to play and you're not cheating and you're in a bad internet area, don't play PvP. You don't want to get disconnected and lose your rating points. Um, game update is out in the Play Store, which we already talked about, and yeah, so that's about it. Anyway, guys, yeah, that's all the news, all the information there. I am very hyped about that. We're going to go ahead and do a separate video for team building for us, so that way we can go over all the information about the new characters and what teams they fit best on, and maybe I could find something on the Reddit for team building guides on that. But um, anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.